Hi, it's Maya, I'm the co-founder of Elementary, and I'm gonna do a quick tour in our UI for you. So once you open the Elementary port, you're immediately gonna see the Elementary dashboard. This dashboard is an overview of the health and results of tests in your system. So you can see here the monitor table, the test results breakdown, and you can also see the breakdown to different segments. So you can have here both your native DBT test, but also the test that Elementary offers, like freshness anomalies, volume anomalies, schema changes, and anomalies in columns. Down here, you'll see the trends of your results over time to understand what was the picture like in the last week or so. You can also filter this view. Sometimes it's not that useful to look at an overall picture, but you wanna look at it by a specific business domain, like only see the results for your finance, uh, tables or only see the results that you're actually the owners of to uh, take care of. So from here the natural thing to do would be to drill down to the failing results and you can actually use any shortcut you want from the dashboard directly to the relevant test results. So you can see here the test results screen where the information to triage the results. So for example I have a failure here in a uniqueness test, it's a dbt native test and once I open and look at the results, I can see a sample of the failed results. I can see uh, the description and I also have the query here, which I can copy, run in my warehouse and get exactly uh, all the results that failed. If we look at elementary test results, these are anomaly detection tests. So for example, this volume anomalies test failed because the latest value was really out of range comparing to the values in the previous dates. So this is how our results of an anomaly detection test would look like. After triaging, you would probably want to go to the lineage screen to understand where the test came from and what is the impact. So for example, if a consumer asks you uh, if there's a problem in the customer's dashboard, the natural thing to do would be to filter on this customer's dashboard and see only the DAG leading to it. You can see that there is a failure here on the customer's table and it's a uniqueness failure. So let's filter also on unique tests only. And now it's becoming pretty clear that the problem is coming from here, from the staging sign-up uh, table because the failure is uh, similar and probably if you'll fix it on the staging table, it would propagate both to the customer's table and also to the dashboard. So the lineage is very useful and powerful with a really useful uh, filters. Elementary also lets you monitor model performance over time, detect issues in uh, there, and also lets you uh, detect issues with tests that fail often, and you can use this view to optimize your coverage and really understand which tests you should remove or maybe change configuration. So how Elementary works? Elementary has a dbt package which you import into your dbt project. This means that all of the elementary dbt package code would be included in your dbt project and will start running as part of your pipelines. Elementary's hooks would log information into the elementary schema like test results and uh, model run results and runtimes and also the elementary tests would become available for you to use as part of your dbt project. So let's dive into the installation. It's a very quick and simple process. First, we need a packages YAML file and we need to add the elementary's configuration to it. So I'm gonna create it real quick here. Of course, if you already have a packages YAML file, you can just add the details of the elementary dbt package to it. And also we recommend adding a configuration to your dbt project yaml for elementary to be created in its own schema so this is the configuration everything is available right here in our docs and then the next step would be to just run dbt devs a command that would actually import the elementary dbt package into your project so now uh, dbt devs connect to the dbt hub and imports the elementary dbt package and if I'll go to my dbt packages folder I can now see the elementary code right here as part of my project. So 
So now I'm going to show you how to install the elementary CLI. We also have a cloud option if you want to try it out, but this explanation specifically is about how to install the CLI. So before we install it, we need to give it the credentials to connect to the elementary schema. And after it will connect to the elementary schema, it would use the data there to generate a UI and generate alert for us. So we created a DBT operations for you to easily generate a connection profile. So just copy the command. This is a DBT operation and run it in your dbt project. This works, by the way, both for dbt core and dbt cloud. And as you can see, the operation printed here a profile for me. It's very important that the profile would be named elementary and it has all the details needed. I just need to enter a password here. So now I'm gonna save this into a profile XAML file. change the password here to the password to my uh, Snowflake, and uh, then I'll be ready to actually install the CLI. So let's install the elementary CLI. We're just gonna use pip to install it. pip install elementary data. And you would also need to install a package with a specific adapter. So for this demo, it's Snowflake, uh, but we also support BigQuery, Redshift, and Databricks. And with Postgres, you don't need to install anything else. And now that I have the package installed, and I configured a profile for the package to connect to my elementary schema, I can just run the command EDR report. And what happens now is that elementary CLI connects using the details we provided on the profile to the elementary schema in your data warehouse generated by your DBT package. And using the data there, it generates the report for us. And here we go. The report was created, it's gonna open uh, automatically in your browser once it's done.